because it was a pretty wet uh, holiday weekend, especially Sunday and yesterday. Live Super Doppler HD, we've still got the rain out there. If we take a look a little closer to home here in Des Moines, yeah, you can see back toward Dallas Center, Grimes, right along Interstate 80 and Highway 6 as you go out toward Adel. All this activity moving slowly off to the east and northeast, so we're not out of the rain yet, but as we head throughout the afternoon, that rain eventually going to be tapering off just a little bit. We picked up quite a bit of it over the past uh, 24 to 48 hours. Ankeny, this is the rainfall from the school net site from yesterday and today, just over an inch and three tenths. Cord in about an inch and a quarter, as well as Creston. Sheridan down to the south, about an inch and three tenths, and Jordan Creek about an inch and a quarter. So, quite a bit of rainfall around here, and we've got more in the eight day forecast uh, before just a brief break tomorrow. 64 the temperature here in Des Moines, 61 for Fort Dodge, 63 in Mason City, so not a warm day by any stretch of the imagination. We do have a lot of moisture in the air. You can see that on our downtown sky cam. That dew point at 60, so our relative humidity at 87%. Anytime our dew point close to our air temperature, that's what builds in that relative humidity. Winds, though, will be switching out of the west and eventually the north. Northwest bringing in some drier air for the day on Wednesday. Here's your forecast timeline as we head throughout the afternoon. 3 o'clock temperature, 68 degrees, 70 by 6, and eventually again that rain tapering off through the evening hours and moving more off to the north and east. We'll eventually decrease the clouds tonight and that'll help us cool down. 11 o'clock tonight, 61 degrees, and then the sun shines back. We're all going to be Letting out a sigh of relief tomorrow morning, waking up at 58 degrees by 6 o'clock on Wednesday. Satellite radar shows this area of low pressure that has just been plaguing the Midwest over the past few days, located right about here over the state, eventually sliding off to the north and to the northeast over the next 24 or so hours and taking the rain along with it as high pressure builds in on the backside, bringing us in some sunshine. So here it is on Futurecast, cold front sliding out. Not going to be cooling us down much as a northwest breeze builds in, eventually by uh, tonight into tomorrow, but it will be clearing the clouds out with that area of high pressure. Let's uh, put a timeline on this with Futurecast. We're starting things out 1 o'clock this afternoon. Shows the rain moving out. Could see a few isolated showers sticking around by this afternoon into the evening hours, but eventually clearing the clouds out, and that's going to make for one nice day on Wednesday with a lot of sunshine and temperatures a little bit warmer. We're back in the 80s tomorrow. 71 today. Again, those showers tapering off this afternoon. Winds out of the west. A little pesky at times. 10 to 15. Tonight, decreasing clouds. It'll be a nice night. 58 degrees with, again, those winds out of the west. Three-day forecast. Look at this. I had to dig this out of the bin. Mostly sunny skies. 82. It's been a while since we've seen that. Thursday, another chance of rain by the latter portion of the day. 81 degrees. Friday, just an all-around wet day. Chances for rain all day long. 79. That may linger into Saturday and Sunday, and the temperature is going to be back in the 60s. Some relief in sight, though. We should clear out by late Sunday into Monday. Yeah. Highs warming back into the 70s. We've had enough of this rain. I, I was going to say, just as kids are getting out of school I know, for the right? year. Well, mm -hmm. we still got all summer. They got plenty of time. There, that's true. That's true. <laughs> all right. Thank